inserting a next page section break. So the next page section break is probably the most commonly used of the section breaks, especially in longer documents. So by inserting the next page section break, you can control pagination as well as isolate and control the layout and setup of the pages in each section, such as page numbering, headers and footers, page orientation columns and the vertical text alignment. So I'm just going to make sure that you've got the file open section breaks one. Once this document's open, then we can start to work with inserting a next section break. So what I want to do is click on view tab and draft to see the document in draft view. So this view enables you to see any section breaks that are applied. I'm just going to then click on my layout tab and then I'm going to click on breaks in page break setup. But first of all, I want to make sure that my flashing cursor is to the left of the introduction. Click on breaks and then select next, next page break. So you can see the section break next page. What I'm going to do now is click on view and go back to print layout. We now have the first page heading an image on its own and the text for introduction starting on the second page. So what I want to do is center align my information on my first page. And to do that, I need to be in my page setup dialog box, in my layout tab, and in my page for vertical alignment, I want to center what's on the page. So I'm just going to click on OK. So now you can see everything's been centered, the text on the page with the image. And that's inserting a next page section break.